very good, like it. I stand corrected, said the man in the orthopedic shoes. Ah, okay, this could be quite serious. Good morning everybody, me again, welcome back to Eggs and Eggs and another weekly vlog. It's Monday today, it's Monday morning today and I've got an exciting week ahead. So I am starting my week by doing my DNA test from Vittal. Um, these are the guys that sent me that test last week, I still haven't had a chance to do it. Don't know why, it literally takes about five minutes if that. Um, so yeah, that's the kit and it's got all the swabs and stuff. Basically, you just swab it around your mouth. Um, and then put it in its free postage bag and send it off and then they will tell you everything you need to know about your DNA makeup um, Anything you might be deficient in that kind of stuff I'm just hoping that it's gonna help me get to the bottom of why I've been a little bit poorly a lot recently um, And yeah, just sort of help me Anybody can do these. I'll leave a link down below if you uh, fancy giving it a go yourself. But uh, I know they're not cheap, put it that way. But um, I'll see if I can get a discount or something for us. I'll see if I can get a discount and pop it down there. Um, yeah, could be interesting. We shall see. <laughs> today a bit random um but there is a skincare conference going on and uh, i've been invited down by boots because they're just launching a load of new products with sanex um which are that skincare company that are really really good for you you know the ones that like do the zero percent bath foam that i was bang on about because obviously you know my situation so um i can't really have like bubble bath and stuff but sanex do like a zero percent one that's the only bubble bath I can have because it's got like nothing in it that's going to irritate you and it's amazing. I've been able to have baths again thanks to Sanex. Um, but apparently they've launched a whole new range of stuff. Um, so Boots have invited me down to go and have a chat to their skincare expert. Very exciting. Um, and find out a little bit more about them. So I'm going to take you along with me. So this little box in here shows you all the ingredients that can be in other products. All the yellow balls are all the ingredients that are in other products. And the white ones are the ones that are in Sanex. So as you can see, there's hardly any compared to all the other stuff that is in all the other products. I had no idea. back in my car because it was impossible to film in there it was so noisy so basically it's a skincare conference that boots are boots are holding for all of their skincare experts so basically anybody that works in store comes along to the skincare conference um, meets all the brands so they know that if someone sort of comes into store and says hey I've got really sensitive skin um, that, but that's super dry I'm looking for something that will help them out and is also vegan they can point them in the right direction because they know everything about all of the new releases so these bad boys look pretty Pretty damn good I can't wait to try them out I've got the uh, dry and dehydrated one and the sensitive one as well which is the pink one um, they're like vegan they've got hardly any ingredients in and they're just like super super good for you so yeah I mean try to intrigued to try this I'm getting really dry legs at the moment at night time I don't know why and so I am when I jump out the shower as well I'm gonna give this a go over the next week and sort of like whack it on every day and see if it makes a difference it smells nice even though it doesn't like have a fragrance it's fragrance free but it still smells quite fresh if that makes sense 
yeah i'm intrigued and also it's completely recyclable the packaging which is also an amazing amazing feature i think they used to have a pump on it and now they've got rid of the pump so it's completely recyclable yeah like sanex they're a good brand they're not necessarily a sexy brand you know what i mean like they you wouldn't see them you wouldn't see them on the shelf and be like oh my god i have to pick up this moisturizer but they're just super super practical and apparently um somebody came in today and said that they were going through chemotherapy and this is the only um moisturizer that helped them so it's like it's good for super dry sensitive skin so i'm gonna recommend this to rosie she's got some really dry sensitive skin very good like it so I'm gonna head home now and crack on with some editing and answering emails of which I've got a bazillion of. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. You guys are going mad on Instagram in my DMs for this. Apparently so many of you use it and absolutely love it. Um, and a couple of you have been asking, yeah, it is only exclusive to Boots. So get yourself down there and you can find it in the moisturizer section. But yeah, so glad that so many of you like this. I'm excited to try it now. Like apparently it's a miracle product. So brilliant, well done Sanex. Needed a bit of sugar, so I'm having a, an Oreo cookie and a cozy Nespresso pod. <laughs> How exciting my Monday is. So, uh, I am off to see Titanic the Musical with Ellie. Hey. Do you love Titanic? I do. I haven't actually seen it all the way through. You've not seen Titanic all the no. way through? No, I got too upset so I had to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully oh, I won't get too traumatised <laughs> by this. <laughs> Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, it's Tuesday. Oh my God, so I said in the vlog last night it was Tuesday and it wasn't. Never normally have press nights on a Monday. Huh, weird. Uh, happy Tuesday everybody. I am so tired, so, so tired. Got straight back in from the musical last night and then went to bed. It was very good. Normally I would stay up and try and wind down a bit, but I was just so tired. I was like, no, need to make sure I get my sleep done. Cool story, bro. Shut up, Mia. Right. Uh, so today I've got loads on, absolutely loads on. Editing the weekly vlog. Um, I've got another last minute blog post to do that came through yesterday. Uh, loads of stuff. Um, yeah, touch out the musical. <laughs> it wasn't my favourite, if I'm honest. Um, the voices were incredible, like incredible. It was sort of like lame is standard voices, but the songs just weren't as good. Um, yeah, a little bit. It was, it was. I like the way that they did. They did like a memorial thingy at the end. Um, that was good. It just wasn't that much character development, so it was kind of like you knew what was going to happen, but not that you didn't care, but you didn't get attached to characters enough to sort of be like, oh my god, oh no, I'm so sad that they're going to die. Um, yeah, it was an interesting one. So not for me, but um, when I was on the train back home so many people were like sat there going oh my god it was so good so everybody loved it it just wasn't quite for me anyway right i'm gonna crack on I'm make a cup of tea first and uh yeah start the day so i've decided to watch love island this year and don't hate me um but it's just because it's all everybody talks about online and i get a little bit fomo <laughs> left out if I'm not watching it so I've decided to give it a go I'm not sure how I feel about it I'm quite enjoying it actually it's complete trash TV like complete trash TV um but it's semi-entertaining so I'm gonna stick with it I don't know if I can watch it every night though that's a bit of a commitment I don't think I'm ready for that kind of commitment in my life um but yeah I'll try and keep the Love Island chat to a minimum on here but so far I quite like it how naughty was it that they brought in like a six foot five personal trainer to like ruffle all the feathers editing the weekly vlog and eating the biggest salad in the world that Toby desperately wants some of. It's chicken, ham, cottage cheese, hard boiled egg and a boatload of veggies like carrots, celery, all chickpeas, radishes, cucumber, the lot. It looks massive but it, the good stuff's all on the top and then the bottom is just literally vegetables. <laughs> I'm eating the rest of that salad for dinner because I couldn't finish it earlier and because I don't have time to cook. I The day has run away with me. That editing software I've got is really, really good. I can't wait to read your comments tonight. I hope you notice <laughs> that things are a little bit better and different um, and that you like it. 
but it's just taken me so long to do the vlog because I'm still learning with it and it also takes ages to render so unfortunately my day has just flown by and I'm running very very late so I'm going out for drinks this evening um just a really really quick one um but I'm just so busy at the moment I can't ever find any time so I could really do with not going I even remember to put my bin out today I'm on a roll it's about uh, 10 past 10 just got back from my little drinky poo which is quite nice it's always good you have to make time for these things I could have easily not gone because I'm super busy and I just yeah I could have easily not gone but I made myself go and I'm glad I did it was just nice to get out for a little while so I'm going to take Toby on a WALK because it's still semi light outside and then I'm actually going to go to the gym because I really 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 want to go so Sod it. I've got 24 hour gym for a reason. Let's go. Just got back from the gym, had an awesome <coughs> session. Although my Fitbit didn't record any of it because it's been like out of action for ages. Um, so I put it on tonight because I just wanted to see, I did a hip workout on the cross trainer. I just wanted to see the calorie burn like after I'd finished and stuff, but it hasn't recorded any of it and I'm really annoyed. I assume it's because it was run right down to nothing and it just, it's having a bit of a moment. So that's annoying. Um, but yeah, had a really good workout, did a hit workout on the cross trainer, then did a bit of arms and some squats and stuff. Feel good for it, feel absolutely knackered. Um, it, so it looks like I'm in a brothel, by the way, I'm not. Uh, it is my Himalayan salt lamp that Lucy bought me for my birthday. Um, and they're meant to reduce anxiety and stuff and I've wanted one for ages and she remembered and yeah, she's just an awesome human being. So I love it. I have it on in the daytime, I have it on at night time. I'm a big believer in that it works. It's like, it's all to do with ions and stuff. So it's like science-y, it's not like just spirit, it's not like a spiritual thing, it's a science-y thing. Um, yeah, I love it. It really calm, it really does calm me down just having that warm glow on odd anyway uh so i'm just gonna settle down and watch love island <laughs> it's uh half 11 um yeah i'm trying to be in bed by 12 every night um because i have been having some really really late sleepless nights so i'm trying to get my sleep up as well as part of my health kick <clears throat> so it might be a little past 12 today but to be honest how tired i'm feeling i'm probably gonna fall asleep on the sofa halfway through so yeah i'll catch you with you guys in the morning <laughs> today um last week when i spoke to the nurse about my water infection stuff she asked me before i went she was like is there anything else that you want to talk about because i ended up having a double appointment they booked me a double one and normally you only get 10 minutes so you don't get a chance to talk about stuff and i was like well yeah actually oh crap i need petrol um yeah actually there is i've got this mole on my um back which started to be a little bit concerned about it's basically been there for as long as i can remember um but it was only recently i think i caught it on something it might have been my bra strap someone might have been putting sun cream on me or something recently and it hurt a little bit so i tried to have a look at it but obviously it's really difficult because it's on my back um and yeah but long story short the nurse was a bit concerned so she sent me to the hospital today to the dermatology department to go and check it out and they phoned me yesterday and they were like it might be a three hour appointment <laughs> i was like oh okay i wasn't worried about it until they sort of said that and now i'm like ah oh, okay this could be quite serious but i'm trying to think that it's not serious and you know it's just a precaution and all that kind of stuff um but then there's always that little voice in the back of your head that kind of goes yeah but what if it's not okay what if it's something really bad so uh yeah that's where my mind's at this morning. I'm gonna get myself there and um, we shall see. Good news, we have absolutely nothing to worry about. The dermatologist just took one look at my mole and she was like, no, absolutely fine. Don't know why the doctor sent you to me, to be honest, there's nothing wrong with it. I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I'd rather be safe than sorry, so that's great. Um, but yeah, really good news and uh, a big weight off my mind. Because like I said, I wasn't that worried, but then, you, your brain does just throw up the what ifs, doesn't it? Just to, just to panic you a little bit. 
it's all good though. So I am driving home. Um, didn't take that long at all. Two pound fifty in parking though, just for twenty five minutes. That's a ball ache, isn't it? And I've spilled my juice down my top, which is nice. Um, so I'm gonna head home, get changed, uh, and then crack on with my work for the day. Super nice weather today. Really, really nice. I think I might take Toby up to Cannock Chase um, and give him a, a big run around in the sunshine. See if Lucy's free. Maybe uh, team up with some other doggies. and I'm still not finished. I think I'm gonna be working most of the evening. So I'm gonna take a little break, get myself outside. Uh, I need to pick up a few things from m and so I'm gonna head over there. It's a good little walk, so that'll be my exercise. Uh, combine an errand with some exercise instead of going to the gym, I think, today. Although we had a nice walk in Canuck Chase earlier, so that was good. Um, yeah, just get a few more steps in. And I also need to grab some ingredients for tea. So for tea tonight, I'm gonna to make courgette spaghetti. Um, with chicken and I'm going to investigate quark. Now I know a lot of people say quark's really good because it's low in fat and really high in protein and it gives you like a creamy kind of texture. I've never used it before so I'm going to go and get some quark and do like chicken and chorizo quark courgette with some spinach and stuff. I don't know. I'm just going to make it up on the way. <laughs> Uh, and I'm also going to tuck into some gin. Um, I actually picked up my gin today. Me and Ellie both bought um, two bottles of gin from the gin tasting night because they were so so good. So uh, I'll show you now. This one is the chocolate gin. Um, it's the X gin, uh, and it comes with a little tub of uh, a little jar of cacao nibs that you can garnish it with. So you put those in your drink. It's really good with natural tonic water. It's not sweet. It's just like you kind of taste a little bit of a dark chocolate taste afterwards. Sounds strange, but it's really delicious. If you like your good quality gin, definitely check that out. I'll leave a link down below if you want to go and buy some. And also the limited edition Bakewell gin. Um, again, this isn't too sweet. It's like kind of like a sour cherry taste with um, like hints of almond. It really does taste so, so nice. And that one, she said to best pair it with a diet tonic uh, so it doesn't overpower the gin. And that one's limited edition, I think, but you can get it on Amazon. So again, I'll leave a link down below. If you are gin fans, then definitely check those out. And um, a few of you have been asking about my wine offer that is still on. I think there's 95 cases left. So um, if you want to get yourself a bottle of the delicious Argentinian Malbec, the uh, Kaken. <laughs> It's amazing. So if you like your Malbec or Rioja red wine, I'll leave a link down below for that one. That's my recommendation for that. So yeah, boozy recommendations for Max Amelia X. Um, you can trust me on these guys. I know my alcohol. Hello, little puppy that lives in my house. Hello. You give the best welcomes ever. <laughs> also, this is a bit of a boring adult um, vlog update but i just got sent some new pans by xylus xylus i've never heard of them before um and they're like ultimate non-stick pans i'm just doing my chicken there is no oil in this pan whatsoever and just look it's like slipping around the oh, it's incredible i am sold bloody love this they, they've sent me a small one and a big one. Oh my god these are a game changer guys hey, i know this is a proper boring vlog update but look at that Ta-da! Uh, mostly courgette, a little bit of fresh tagliatelle, chicken chorizo, chili, garlic, pesto, and quark. Having my protein smoothie quite late on today. I completely forgot to have it, and then I realized that I was a little bit low on my protein intake, so this tops me up, and then I'm all done for all of my macronutrients for the day. Oh, I'm gonna be one of those knobheads. Um, I'm not doing it, like, super seriously. Um, I just, I'm just trying to have everything in balance. Like make sure I get all my vitamins, make sure I have um, all of my protein, and also just sort of like trying to balance the other stuff out. So I'm not really concentrating on 
fat and carbs and all that but they just seem to be falling into line with me getting my protein up because I'm just full um so I don't, I'm not like craving things or anything like that that I normally am so yeah I was definitely um short on protein before so yeah that's what I'm doing and I've got I've so I have one scoop of my protein powder um a frozen banana uh, so I literally just put them in uh, peel them and put them in the fridge at uh, freezer um, a couple of scoops of the Halo Top cinnamon roll this time, um, and then 250 ml of soy milk, and I'm done. Done de Leon. It's quite a lot of calories in this if you just count calories. Um, there's what 100 for the soy milk, 100 for the protein powder, 100 for the banana. Yeah, about so there's like 350 calories in this, give or take. But do you know what? It tastes really good, and it's actually good for you. It's good stuff in there. So. Yeah, I'm enjoying my new healthy eating journey. I'm really enjoying it, actually. I just feel so much better already. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I can keep this up and stay healthy. Um, these aren't new glasses, by the way. These are my old ones, just in case anyone was wondering. I was just looking at myself in the viewfinder, and I'm like, I look different. Why? Oh, I've got your different glasses on. I never wear these, and I just found them in the, <laughs> in the drawer the other day. I was like, oh, yeah, I got two pairs. Because it was buy one, get one free. And um, the FC UK, I think. No, nope, Tommy Hilfiger. I stand corrected, said the man in the orthopedic shoes. Morning everyone, happy Thursday. My goodness, the week is whizzing by. Um, it's actually quarter past 12. I've just spent the morning doing a load of stat reports for the cruise vlog, answering emails, sorting out competition winners, loads of like niggly little tasks. Um, and now I think I'm gonna to go to the gym for half an hour, just because I really, really want to. Giant spot alert, my goodness me, it's just such a bugger. Maybe I can turn it into a beauty spot. <laughs> it's just a brown eyeliner on it or something. Um, yeah, so that is the plan. I'm gonna uh, go to the gym bob and do a bit of a workout. I've got two deliveries today that are being delivered. Very exciting, I'm getting a picnic hamper, can't believe it. So uh, I put on Instagram stories the other week of our crappy little picnic. <laughs> And Wayfair were like, we want to send you a picnic basket. It looked so sad. <laughs> I was like, yes, please, guys. So I'm getting a picnic basket, which I'm, like, weirdly excited for. Probably a bit too excited for. Yeah, so that's pretty much the plan. Then I'm going to come back and do a video for you. I have been sent a teeth whitening kit, um, which I'm excited to try, because mine are starting to go a little bit yellow. On the I know they're, like, super white anyway, but... Um, yeah, I'm excited to try that. So I'm going to do a first impressions video for you and just sort of unbox it and then try it because it's like 10 minutes. Um, so we'll try that. So if you're looking for an at-home teeth whitening kit, stay tuned for that video. Um, and then I'm writing up a post on the best purple shampoos for blonde hair um, because I have used a lot in my time and there are some high budget ones and also low budget ones that I really really rate so I'm gonna do a little blog post on that so that's pretty much my day ahead um I'll catch it with you guys in a little bit what are you doing you look crazy <laughs> are you frozen <laughs> can you not eat that stinky bone on my nice sofa please can you please eat it on the floor? Because it's stinky. You've got you've clearly found your way to the meaty center and it really smells. No, not a mummy's cardigan. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, look what's just arrived from Wayfair. It's my picnic basket and just look at this. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, it's a four-person one, so it's absolutely huge. And it comes with a blanket. It's got that. I've literally just I haven't even delved through so it's got your blanket that attaches on the side like you can roll it up there so cute like that a lot then you've got a cool bag that sits there what's this oh my goodness is that little tablecloth oh the napkins <gasps> there's four napkins oh wow oh my goodness this is so posh and then oh a bottle cooler so you can keep your bottles, your bottle of wine cold, and then I think it's got a thermos. That's a thermos in there. And then there's another little basket in here, a basket within a basket. Hard to undo with one hand. Da -da -da. What's in here? Oh, four cups. That's so cute. What if the middle bits come out? No, they don't. But they're the cups to go with your thermos. Oh my god, they're well sweet. Look at those. <gasps> They're really light as well. 
And then I assume in here are the wine glasses. Once, yeah, they're the wine glasses in there. Now I'm not being funny, but if somebody's drinking that much wine at a picnic, then they're doing it horribly wrong. So I'm going to investigate some bigger wine glasses. They're actually glass, I think. Are they? Yeah, they're glass. So I'm going to investigate some big um, acrylic ones. Oh look, you can put things in there so that oh you can put your glasses in there. I see, I see. That seems a bit excessive. This extra little basket for those. Um, but you could you could just have those sort of knocking around, and then you can fill that with stuff. I suppose maybe put all like um, like bags of grapes in there or um, bags of sweets. <laughs> Or chocolate, you can just you can fill that with stuff, or you can just take it out and use it. Do you know what? I might use that for like beauty products in the bathroom. <gasps> yeah, I'm having that. Oh my goodness, this is so so cute. Thank you so much, Wayfair. I cannot wait to use this. Gotta organise a picnic now. All done for the day. Well, not all done for the day. It's ten past six. Um and I need to nip into town and pick up a few things because I've just ordered some uh plastic wine glasses from my new picnic uh, basket and some little tumblers and stuff. I actually ordered the tumblers ages ago um, and never picked them up and they've just sort of, I've sort of rearranged them so they've come back into store so I can go and get them. Um, but I realised that they're exactly the same as the ones that they've got on Love Island and I promise guys I got them first and then I was watching Love Island and I was like, oh I like those glasses. That's because I've already bought some very, very similar. Uh, they're like little flamingo tumbler things and I think everyone in Love Island's got the, the ones in the wine glasses. But they're really cute, they're from Mark Spencer, I'll show you in a minute when I get them. Um, yeah, so I feel like I haven't completed everything I need to do today, um, just because I've had a couple of things come in last minute this week that I've had to jiggle stuff around to squeeze things in. Um, I might be able to do a little bit tomorrow morning before I head off on a job, a very, very nice job. One of the perks of this job is what I'm doing tomorrow, but I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I need to learn how to switch off. So I am drawing a line under today's work. We've got some good stuff done and I'm gonna start my evening. How is this for ultimate laziness? <laughs> but I bought them home and then I put them away in the picnic basket I can't bother to get them out. But that's what they look like. That's the little tumblers. I think they look really cute. And they're the big wine glasses. And they're all acrylic, so they're really light and they're not going to smash glass if you drop them or anything. I think they're absolutely perfect. I love them. And there was uh, palm tree ones as well. So I've got two flamingo ones, two palm tree ones and four wine glasses because it's a four person hamper. How cute are they? They're only from m &S. If I remember, I'll leave a link in the info bar and you can buy them. So I've just dropped Toby off with his friend for the evening and I'm excited. It's time for the spa, so I'm going to head over to Modishaw. Oh, I bloody love Modishaw Lakes. I know I've probably raved about it so many times on these vlogs, but I've been to their day spa, I don't know, loads and loads of times. I just love it there. It's really small. It's really good quality. Their treatments are ace. Their food's great. It's just super tranquil because it's out in the middle of nowhere. And I absolutely absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite, favourite spas in the UK. I've never actually stayed with them overnight and I know that they had a refurb, I think it was maybe last year or the year before, but a recent refurb on all of their rooms and they've been trying to get me in for absolutely ages to come and do a review but I just haven't had the time and I hadn't had anybody that was free. Um, so yeah, this is a bit of a last minute thing this week but nobody else was free apart from Matt because <laughs> he kind of has Friday afternoons uh, off school, he doesn't have any lessons and uh, he's not on duty this evening or anything so yeah he was the only one who was free and he's never been to a spa before so I was like do you want to go on a spa day and he's like sounds pretty girly I was like there'll be massages and wine and he's like yeah I'm there until tomorrow so we've had a lovely afternoon relaxing in the hot tub and drinking champagne and just having a really lovely time so we can go down for dinner now we're all dressed up and then we're gonna go back to the room and watch Love Island <laughs> you should see the look he's giving me right now so 
just finished dinner. It was amazing. I had a fillet steak and it was just so, so good. The food here is awesome. Um, come back to the room and I was like, right, I'm gonna introduce you to Love Island. Come into my office and I'm gonna introduce you. Um, and it starts at nine, it's already like 10 past nine, I was panicking, but there's my TV two plus one. So we're gonna head into our private hot tub for uh, about an hour or like 45 minutes. And then we're gonna come in and watch Love Island, do a face mask. Singular. <laughs> That was heavenly. Oh my goodness, I've just come out of my mess. I just think I've still got the marks on my head. <laughs> Where well, I was through the whole thing. Um, loved it, really loved it. Just checked out and I'm about to head home. Just plucking up the energy to drive. Oh, oh, had such a lovely stay. Really, really lovely. So relaxing, super chilled. Dinner last night was awesome. I had an amazing fillet steak. Oh, really good. Blue cheese sauce. Ah, oh, triple cup chips. Ah, oh, so good. Um, and a nice bottle of Malbec. Oh, life, life is good. Um, Matt's already gone. He's got some uh, classes this afternoon. Um, and he's looking after Toby for me because it's girls' night tonight. Very excited. Going out on the tan. Haven't been out on the tan for years. Like, I can't remember the last time I went out out. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. I don't know what to wear, though. I'm going to feel like a sack of potatoes, I reckon. But, um, just going to roll with it. Just going to roll with it. So, today I am dog free all day it's half 11 now um i'm quite tired actually i might have a nap i never nap ever but i might try and have a nap that'd be nice like a nice little two hour nap oh in my bed with no dogs jumping on me or anything to think about oh that'd be wonderful and uh, i might have a cheeky mcdonald's for lunch just because i can <laughs> I'm done and ready to go and I still look like the 80s threw up on me. In fact, I think I look even more like the 80s threw up on me than I did before. Anyway, this is my nice new top. Uh, it's from Primark. These are my lovely trousers that I wore the other weekend. You guys love them. I'm wearing the same sandals again. I don't know why I'm giving you an outfit like rundown while I'm sat in the car. Um, but I'm going to hop over to Ellie's now and let's go and drink some gin. <gasps> Look at Ellie's gorgeous living room. How nice is that wallpaper? Oh my goodness. So, everybody's ready to go. Uh, we've just been chatting and drinking gin, so I haven't had time to vlog. And it doesn't fit in my new bag, which is from Primark, by the way. Look how cute that is. But I never have tiny bags, and it just doesn't fit in. So I'm gonna leave you here and catch up with you tomorrow. Look at this. Sourdough bread, avocado, and eggs on a marble plate. It's Instagrammer's dream. I love Ellie's house so much. It's so cute. Good morning, everybody. So I'm off home um i had such a lovely it's not morning actually that's a complete lie it's nearly 3 p.m in the afternoon we've just had such a lovely morning we had a bit of a lion which we all needed and then we had some nice breakfast and then we've just been sat around chatting for ages so um it's been absolutely lovely girls night was amazing definitely need to do more of those um yeah it's really cool and uh, i popped on bumble today and the Chamois dinner series card has gone live. So if you are in and around Birmingham and you fancy a free dinner, um, if you see the Chamois card, match with it and you can uh, have a free dinner at a secret location in Birmingham. But it's a good one, I'm telling you, it's a good one. And it's free dinner, free bar, it's gonna be really good. So yeah, I'm quite happy that that's gone live today. I'm really excited to organize that event. Um, I'm on my way home. I was gonna go for a picnic. I was gonna drag Matt out for a picnic so I could use my new picnic basket. <laughs> but mum's just phoned me to say that they're having a barbecue. Um, so I think I'm gonna go over there and have a barbecue with the rents, take the dog over and just enjoy the sunshine. It's like 24 degrees. It's incredible. I absolutely just love that we've had this string of really, really nice by them ah just lovely so uh yeah that's pretty much the plan i might actually end the vlog here um just so i can chill out with my parents they never like being on camera and it's always really really hard to kind of like film when i'm around them so yeah i just wanted to say thank you very much for all your lovely comments on last week's vlog it's really nice that you guys have spotted the new editing style and you're really into um all the content that I'm putting out and all the stuff on the blog as well. My lip plumper video will be live very, very soon. Um, it's just I had some editing issues with it the other day and I had to switch off. I had to switch off my laptop and start my weekend. So that will be up at some point. But yeah, ah, just feeling, feeling really, really good about the business, um, about my channel, about my blog, everything right now. So yeah, it's nice that you guys have noticed the difference and the improvements and the hard work. Uh, yeah, it's just awesome. So I wanted to say thank you as always for being really, really supportive, like the best internet family a girl can ask for. 
so yeah thank you very much for watching as always and i will see you again next week bye it's literally like sprinkling glitter on a turd right now Hey everyone, me again. Welcome back to Ex Amelia X and another weekly vlog. <laughs>